A few moments later He thought he had me But Jesus said you are mine Oh, that means he thought he had me But Jesus said you are mine A few moments later Very interesting story and this happens to a lot of ladies and what can I say guys this is very interesting that she has the tripod the camera set up recording herself with a fitted dress on and a bonnet crying with the baby walking around in a diaper blow up mattress on the floor and trying to inspire some sympathy trying to encourage and things like that baby this is just a part of life and women we can say this whole cycle right that you go from being a bottle girl working the nightclubs hanging out with the d boys and thinking and what i'm saying is it's already laid out in front of you you know the life path for a lot of these women. So when you get into this lifestyle, it's fun, it's exciting. You get a lot of attention. This certain guy claps the cheeks and you think it's gonna be forever, whether he be a dope boy or a married man or whatever have you. And it just doesn't turn out like that. You find religion, you find God, you say, I'm gonna make it. And you show the world that you're gonna make it. You're journaling. And women, it always happens a lot of times you find religion after this and you're a strong single mom and a man has to work hard he has to put a ring on the finger to wife me at this point and uh, that's just what it is and i'm not taking any shouts none of that but you saw she was having a ball previously and all those things like that looks like you had community support you got your own apartment now even though yes you do have a blow-up bed there on the floor but i guess she did an actual video because people were in the comments and you know people are going to roast her for that having this on the floor so she did a video to come back saying that she's got more than a blow-up bed let's go <laughs> you guys people are so funny i guess because i had a short little video with my air mattress laid in my living room that automatically meant that i didn't have a bed in my bedroom hmm. that's an interesting assumption coming from a stranger that you don't know. So whether I wanna lay on my air mattress in my living room so that my baby can play and be a baby, and then you guys call it dirty because the toddler is being a toddler, or if I want to lay in my bedroom, that's my business. Like, let's be for real. Well, good for you, baby. We're seeing far too many videos, though, of women not having furniture in their places, but at least you got a place to stay.
I'm not knocking you. I'm not knocking you, baby. At least you got a place to stay. But hey, this life right here might be too boring for you, especially when you come from that lifestyle of excitement. If you're struggling, a lot of times women, old habits die hard. They end up back in that club, back on that pole, and back into that lifestyle and having someone take care of the kid. It looks good for TikTok and all those things like that. I think I did a video previously about a woman. She just couldn't stand taking care of a child. But my thing is, ladies, you're not on birth control. You make the conscious decision to have this kid because you think that it's this fairy tale of you being with this man and things are going to work out and all that. And Buddy's like, yo, I really don't want no kids. And you already know how he's living his lifestyle. And maybe he's already got kids that you know about. And you think that, hey, I might be taken care of for life. But what's the point, especially sometimes when you with a guy who you got to go back and forth. And I've encountered a lot of women with this. They get with the guy and they go back and forth with child support, trying to get him to show up to events, trying to get him to just give them money. Who wants that? You think it's all good when you're dating, when you live in that fast lifestyle. And that's why some women, I say the smarter ones, they live that fast lifestyle and they use it to their benefit to get what they need to get. And then they go on and they marry a upstanding dude and keep it moving. Some of them don't. Some of them get caught up in the lifestyle. And it's fun. It's intoxicating, especially when it's alcohol and drug fueled and you're getting attention and you're like a celebrity on social media and you constantly getting attention from everyone. Everyone's telling you that you're beautiful. But hey, everything fast don't last, as they say. It goes super quick. And I think you know that trying to do the right thing is hard, especially when you come from that lifestyle. Trying to do the right thing is hard. So you can put on. You can say, I'm with Jesus. Jesus saved me, this, that, and the third, baby. You don't need to broadcast it. You're trying to make it seem like it's cool, baby. It's cool. We get it. We get it. You're going to make it. But, hey, we'll see how far it goes, man. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys seen stuff like this where this happens? It's like a cycle. When the kid grows up and then the stepdaddy comes into play or whatever, this girl still seems to be pretty young. It looks like she's in her early to mid-20s at this point. She's got maybe a one to two year old right there walking around. Hey, <laughs> comment below, though. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.